In this video I will show how to miss your ultraviolet light. I will also try to find out whether sunscreen and sunglasses can stop the rays. First we will look at what rays the sun emits. The different kinds of light have different wavelengths. We find the longest wavelength in infrared light which we cannot see. In visible light red has the longest wavelength while violet has the shortest wavelengths. Ultraviolet light has an even shorter wavelength and is divided into UVA, UVB and UVC. UVC has the shortest wavelength and is stopped by the ozone layer high in the atmosphere. It is fortunate because UVC rays are dangerous. Too many UVB rays can cause aggressive forms of skin cancer. UVA is less dangerous but can also cause skin cancer. As a sensor for our measurements, we need a Gator UV sensor from Sparkfon. It looks like this. The very sensor unit is located here. It can measure rays where the wavelength is between 320 and 400 nanometers, which is equivalent to UVA rays. And then we need a microbit mounted in a Webster bit. It can make the microbit go online so that the collected data can be sent out on the web. The Webster bit can connect to the website webster.com where you can see the data on a so-called dashboard. On Celoxit's website you can see how the connection to the dashboard takes place. You can find the link in the comments below this video. On Celoxis webpage you can also see how you can download an app to your phone. The UV sensor must be connected to the Webster bit as follows. Here it is a good idea to use some wires that have female connectors at one end and alligator clips at the other. In my first experiment I just held the sensor in place with the wires as shown here. In order to be able to direct the sensor to the sun and to be able to rotate it as the sun moves across the sky, I made this device from a hinge, a clothespin and a wooden block. Maybe you have another solution. Then I held some foil covered with sunscreen up in front of the sensor and read the data using the dashboard. As you can see the measurements are not very stable. This is because you will shake the foil a little and the sunscreen will not be spread evenly. Therefore I glued a piece of a slide binder on my device. Now you can insert small pieces of foil as shown here. To make a program for the microbit, we need to load an extension to make code. Unfortunately, the extension has not yet been approved by microbit, so you will need to search for it using this address. 
You can find it in the comments below this video. Now there is a new menu item in Make Code. You also need to download an extension called WebStore. You can find a link to the program you will need in the comments below this video. The upper part looks like this. Here you get ready for transferring data to the dashboard. The values measured by the UV sensor can be translated to a UV index according to this table. In the second part of the program, the max value is saved and the values are converted to UV index. It is all transferred to the dashboard. Inside the dashboard, some so-called widgets must be created to display the data. They must be coded as shown here. We start with the so-called chart. We also need to make three value lists. You can see how the codes in them are related to the lines in make code. Now we need to have sunscreen smeared on the foil pieces. I use SPF 15, SPF 30 as well as a lipstick. I also use a soft brush. The packaging states that the sunscreen protects against both UVA and UVB rays. I smear an even layer on the foil pieces and let them dry. Now the experiment looks like this. I constantly write down what I do and the time for the start and the end of the experiment. Inside the dashboard, I retrieve the data for the amount of time the experiment was running and put it into a spreadsheet. Beforehand, I make sure that there is written none by the gear wheel.
Here are the graphs of some of my experiments. As you can see, there is not much difference between SPF 15 and SPF 30. It matters more how thick a layer you apply. It fits with the advice from the authorities. Sunscreen stops almost all UVB radiation, but as you can see, only some of the UVA rays. Also note that the glass lets almost all UVA light pass through, but it stops almost all UVB light. If you also want to do the experiments inside, you can use a lamp that shines with UV light. Its light has a wavelength of 400 nanometers, which is at the lower end of what the UV sensor can measure. I have made a holder for the lamp. So now the experiment looks like this. One can also get far with a line up like this. And here are a few results. You can't get as bright light as you can with sunlight. On the other hand, the light is always of the same intensity. There is not suddenly a cloud for the sun in the middle of a measurement. On my camera, I have a UV filter, which is supposed to filter out UV light so that the images do not become too bluish. But when I measure it, not much of the UVA light is filtered out. I have also measured how much a car window dims UVA light. I fixed the sensor with tape and illuminated it from inside the cabin. Then I rolled the paint down and up. The result looks like this. Or what about this? We end up with a measurement over a whole day with sunshine. It is obvious that the UV rays are strongest in the middle of the day.